government shouldn't be in the business of telling people who to marry and should not be discriminating against people. That's attorney Shannon Minter with the National Center for Lesbian Rights. The California Supreme Court today overturned a law forbidding same-sex marriage, a big victory for gay rights activists. Well, I'll tell you, that historic event sparked by that state Supreme Court ruling, it was a four to three decision allowing for same-sex couples to in fact tie the knot. And let's take a look at the crowd that is now. The news trickled quickly outside the California Supreme Court. Supporters cheered the historic decision that overturns the state's ban on same-sex marriages. How excited. You have the, the, one of the most important state Supreme Courts in the country saying gay people matter every bit as much as anyone else. In the majority opinion, Chief Justice Ron George in essence said separate was not equal. Domestic partnerships were not the same as marriages. Quote, our state now recognizes that an individual's capacity to establish a loving and long-term committed relationship with another person and responsibly care for and raise children does not depend upon the individual's sexual orientation. Shannon Minter, attorney for one of the plaintiffs in the case called the ruling a moment of pure happiness and joy for so many families in California. California sets the tone and this will, continuing the quote, have a huge effect across the nation to bringing wider acceptance for gay and lesbian couples. Groups of in 2004, when the city, along with its co-partners, filed this case on behalf of the entire city and county of San Francisco, no government had ever been on this side of the issue. And we advanced a broad societal interest in ending discrimination against lesbian and gay couples, along with our co-counsel. Four years later, we improbably stood shoulder to shoulder with 21 cities and counties statewide in the highest court in the largest state in the nation, and we united seven of California's eight largest cities, including Los Angeles and San Diego. San Jose and Sacramento in support of marriage equality. I'm proud of our co-counsel, especially Shannon Minter, whose advocacy was so eloquent and calmly powerful. In a four to three vote, the California Supreme Court overturned a voter approved ban on same sex marriage. In the 121 page opinion, the justices wrote, quote, limiting the designation of a marriage to a union between a man and a woman is unconstitutional. By this afternoon, gay and lesbian couples had already started lining up at San Francisco City Hall to make appointments to get marriage licenses. But first, the history that was made today. People cheered outside the San Francisco courthouse, jubilant over the 4-3 decision that paves the way for same-sex marriage in California. The state Supreme Court rocked the national debate over same-sex marriage, calling it a, quote, basic civil right to all Californians, whether gay or heterosexual, and to same-sex couples, as well as to opposite-sex couples. A celebration for some, a call to arms for others, with many predicting a new debate over an issue that has already deeply divided the nation. So, do, do you see this really as, as a watershed moment in the fight for, for gay equality? Uh, absolutely. I, I view this as one of the most historic decisions that we've had, uh, certainly since Loving versus Virginia, where, where uh, 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 there was a prohibition against uh, the marriages between different races. This is that kind of decision. It is so fundamentally fair and right.